This is the Batavia, an old merchant ship from the Dutch colonial days. And this is Mr. Fritz. Yeah, Fred van der Swan. I'm his guide. And this is just a merchant ship of the Eastern India Company. And when it's a time of war, such kinds of ships were a part of the Navy. And so we're showing you what's inside the ship and we're giving you a demonstration and we'll tell you everything about the history of this ship and of the Eastern Company. And we are going to go everywhere. We're going to possibly not climb up there, but we're going to go, no, go down we, deep, in, yes, deep we, inside the ship. Yes, okay. That's and, and Fritz, uh, his family, you told me uh, 300 years ago, were, were captains on this kind of ship. Uh, Don't worry, I will, I will uh, clean the lens as soon as we are out of the rain here. And uh, the, if it looks a bit blurry and so on now, uh, the problem will be solved in a couple of minutes. So here we are at the back. You can see here two holes for a cannon. On the sides you have fighting cannons. How many and cannons would be on the side? 17 on each side. But on this side in the back of at the front we have a hunting cannon. So when we are just after an, an enemy ship, we have a hunting uh, cannon that shoots for 800 meters, a fighting cannon at the side, 400 meters. So even a, mer a merchant ship would have cannons? That was Because we have to protect against pirates. And the pesky Brits? Yes. yes. So this is one of the cannons. Yes. We filled it at the, the, the foresight. And then we put here just a crowd, a bullet. And then we make the fire over here with the suits and then we shoot it. How long would yeah. that take, the process of, of, of loading and firing? Loading is just in a minute and then we make the fire over here. Then the uh, crowd will explode 30 seconds later and then the cannon go out. So the merchant person of the cannon here had to say, my ship is just moving. I make my fire when the cannon is this side, then it's going down and then on this side I'm giving the fire. And the range will be 800 meters. For, no, 400 for a fighting cannon. And for an 18 gun, there's another, another kind of cannon with a longer line. And they had a smaller bullet. This is a heavy bullet in here. So and this is in, in, order, in order to sink a ship, I mean, how many, how, how many bullets would you have to hit it with? How many Not cannonballs? Many, but you have to put the cannon on the place where it had to be. When you are just firing here, just above the white line, that's the room of the, the uh, master of the of the the the, 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 the am ammunition over here. So when all the, the ammunition will explode, you only have to use one bullet. But you have to find the right place. And but they would know that would be somewhere at the back here. Yes. Yes. Fritz, you're like an encyclopedia. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I told uh, you the, the history of this company, the history of sailing, is for more than 400 years in my family. So you are continuing the, the family tradition? No, 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 no. I, I didn't save in the, uh, served in the Navy, I served in the Army. Ah. <laughs> okay, I think the weather conditions are getting a bit better now. Come on, baby. This way. Just get a little little shot from the from the front here. Yes. Wow! How cool is this? Hold up, Fritz. Yes, come over here. Remind your head, it's one meter sixty. People were short back then. Yes. Well, how short? This is how short. Get a. Yes. Come we over here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Remind your head, yes? Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, uh, all good, all good. We're taking these chairs. Is this? Yes? You have to show over here. Oh, there. Oh, okay. What is this? Well, well, well. What have we here? Well, I can guess. It'll probably be a yes, toilet. Yes, guess it. What is this? Toilet. A toilet. Nine months we're sailing. 
320 people. One toilet. Two toilets. Oh, okay. There's another one over there. Yes. <laughs> and no toilet paper. <laughs> wow. So well, how, well, how do I deal with that? I will show you how I clean my back. <laughs> oh, no. The ropes. All right. Something's coming up here. This is from the seawater. The seawater is cleaning this rope. Yeah. Be cleaning my back. And then I take it back to into the sea. And Jesus. the sea is cleaning this rope for the next person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 300, no, possibly 500 times a day. Yes. <laughs> so, would you sit down over here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can imagine. Well, uh, you know what? It's actually it's not as bad as I thought. I thought I thought maybe there there was nothing, and everyone had to like sit over. But you over don't the, have toilet paper. Uh, eh, don't know. <laughs> Different times. Yes. So uh. here you have two big seals, the blind and the upper blind, and so when the storyman is over there, he couldn't see anything, and that's why he had to communicate with the man in top. This is only the first part of the march. The mast, there had to be two parts above it, and the top is 70 meter. And that's the person who's standing there with a telescope, who communicate with the storyman 70 meters lower. Come over here. Amazing. Hold on, let me just get a little shot from yes. uh, okay. over here. Yes. Harold investigate. Fritz investigations are very, are very fast. So up, up front, you told me a story about the uh, up front. You yes. can see that it's a merchant ship. Uh, because it has a lion without a crown and a navy ship over there has a lion with a crown. So since I'm filming, I'm allowed to go up here and see the unfinished masterpiece that they were constructing here up until a decade ago. What did he say it would cost to finish? Was it 25 million euros or something? Anyway, they ran out of, uh, I guess, funds and the will to finish this one, which was a warship, as you would, uh, as you could see from the lion here having a crown on the top, the galleon figure. I'm okay. Fritz is like, be careful, be careful down there. There we go. Now, the thing about this ship, imagine, imagine the manpower and money needed to build these. I mean, the, we ran out of money now in 2010 here. So imagine 400 years ago, the, the strain this would have been on, on, on the finances of these, of these provinces and, and the state, I guess this would, since this uh, is a warship, the navy, this would have been funded by the state. Huge cost. And quite impressive that they were able to do it when we're not able to do it in 2010. Since I am up here, let me get some photos of the Batavia as well from this angle. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Stop down, please. I'm coming. Yeah. So you can see on the outside, this is a navy ship. This is a merchant ship. Not the cannons are just the mark of, of a navy ship. The crown on the lion. That's that's how you spot it. Yes. And every every Dutch navy ship on this time has a crown on the lion. You mentioned also the number of ships built in this period. It in, uh, in from 1600 to 1800, we had the Western India Company, the Eastern Company. They built about 400 ships for each company, and then we built uh, in the 150 year about 100 ships for the Navy. Big ones, like that, but also short ones. Um, a Fregat is a small ship sails quickly, but you also need um, smaller ships to bring uh, messages from one ship to another ship, because we didn't have any telephone. So uh, we built about 1700 ships from eight, eight, uh, 1600 until 1800. So this one, the Batavia, the, it, this one sailed to, um, 
to the. Um, uh, it was a merchant ship, and it goes to uh, to India, but in twenty uh, in sixteen hundred and twenty nine. Uh, there was uh, come uh, a mutiny, and then the ship would go uh, on the uh, coast of Brazil, and it damaged. And so, with the helping boats, the commander was going to uh, Batavia, and then go back to Australia and pick up the, co Batavia, the cargo. Batavia, which is Jakarta but, today. But, 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 the mutiny cost about 150 persons their lives. Oh no! Yes. So the ship we're walking on right now, yeah. it's yeah. 40 years old, right? This is 40 years old. Normally, a ship in 15 years makes three travels to India. In 15 years? In 15 years. Just nine months ago, uh, the emergent, repair the ship, new people, go nine months back, repair the ship, and make it uh, in a good condition for the next trip. And so normally a ship makes three to four uh, trips, and then it was just... And that's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, but then we take it out of Yarchara, but we made so much money that we could build two new ships. Wow. Wow. Well, I guess the tour continues as much as I just want to stop here and climb on everything. There, uh... And now we see the most I interesting inside the ship. Okay. Come with me. Yeah, um, but I'm already very intrigued out here. Everything is interesting. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, either I'm getting fatter or I'm getting taller. Yes. You're mad, maybe, you're mad. maybe both. <laughs> the left side of the, of the stairs. The left side. The left side of the stairs. Could you imagine here living more than hundred people? Sleeping in hangmats between the cannons. They have to work here. They have to sleep here. They have to play here. And so. And they would be part of the, the navy then, even yes. though it was a merchant ship. So these the navy, the soldiers. The navy sh or the and the merchant ships are just eagle, but in the, in the situation. We will tell you something about the cannon. This is a cannon. It's fast on the side. With eight persons, we take it back. With. With, with eight persons, we take the cannon back. Yeah. Then we fill the cannon with the bullets and the crowd, the, 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 the ammunition over here. Yeah. And then with the other persons, we take the cannon back to the front. And then the, 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 cannon, the cannoneer here just make the arithmetic in his head. I had to make here my fire. And then 30 seconds later, when the ship was moving like this way, we can make the bullet like this. Here, how would they how, how would they try to time that with the waves and things kind of moving up and, and that's like, like experience of the of the person here, and so you can see inside the cannon over here. This is just the put where we put the crowd in, the fire make over here. This is the powder. Yeah. Fast making a prop. This is the bullet. Fill it. This is the bullet. Then make it fast, and then we put this the cannon in the front, and then we make the arithmetic in our heads. The ship is moving in this quickness or the slow, and then at the right time we want to have the fire on this line and not like a circle. So this is the situation, but we have different kind of bullets. Two half bullets to make the damage bigger. This or, one, yes. So in the air, they would it would split open like that. Yes, and or this things that is because we want to break a wall. You would fire this one from the yes. cannon, and that would go through the wall. Or this with the points. Or this, or this. When we make a hole in the ship, we don't fire a bullet with a sack of nails. So. The bullets come into the ship and the nails come into your body and so the persons are going to die and you can capture the ship in a good condition and so you have a new ship I owned see. by war yeah just by have, killing the crew yes just by using this material wow war isn't nice
for the losers. Yes. It's very nice for the victors. Yes. Here we go. Let me take some photos here then. So out of, out of the when out of the times you fired, what, yeah. what would be the hit and miss ratio? Would it be more bullets that that kind of fly over the yes, ship? Yes, yes, yes. What's over here? I don't know. The cargo. Ah, oh, that's right. Look up the top. We open this, and with the ropes and the blocks, we take the cargo from the side over here and going here seven and a half meter deep, and there's the cargo. What would the cargo on, on this ship have been? Pepper, nutmeg, cinnamon, tea. I see. In 1650, we have a new culture of drinking tea. A co Coke zero? Tea. No, no. Uh, the, yeah, uh, uh, tea. Yeah. <laughs> but what we do, do we need for tea? Sugar. Porcelain. And we make a lot of money off the tea. Was that the most valuable with the highest margin? Yes, cargo? yes, tea. tea. So this is open, so this is the car. We go and swing a visit over here. Here. Hold on, Fritz. I'm going to have to teach you something about yeah. video making. This is a good thumbnail. Yeah? Co yeah, come here, come here. We just need like a, a, a photo yeah. for the... Here. Because here we have a good lighting situation. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. I'll take a photo with my phone. And then this will be like this, like this. C come here, next yes, to me. Yeah, yeah. And then we have this. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe we look, we look over there. Yes. Yeah. Never mind. Here we go, like this, like this, yeah. So maybe look at this one? Yes. No, no, stand there, stand here. Not easy with the thumbnail. Okay. That's great. Now yes. we have it. That can be yes. the, that can be the... And I will show you, what it said you, the, the family crest. In here. In the pictures here? Yeah, here we go. Yeah. You can see here the crest. And that is your ring. And the crest is here on the seal. And this is the picture. So it's a swan. And Full a of swan, it's over here. And it's a swan yeah. and a herring. Yeah. And so that's over here. And so I wouldn't put my name on a contract. I Just sealed use it. the seal. A seal. Which you, you, so you still do that? Yes. When I have to go to a, or a, a solicitor or a barrister, I will uh, have just um, just use the, the seal. Use the seal. But I will, I will show you something about here. The persons had to eat. But the eating was just a little bad. Yeah. This they would be one kitchen. This is one kitchen for whole the ship. And then they eat in groups of forty persons. And the vegetables weren't there. Lemon, there wasn't any lemon, so uh, com the sickness was very big and great on the ship. Yes, yeah, scurvy. But the officers over there, they had their own silver spoons and knives. Oh wow! This soldiers and this that that sailors, doesn't sound very. Uh... The, this soldiers and and this this uh, uh, sailors didn't have any uh, spoons or knives. They would eat with their hands. No, come over here. This fire, I guess, would be a kind of a threat yes, to the whole ship, yeah, right? Yes, you would really yes, have yes, to... Yes, yes, They had to cut out in the water their own spoon. And when you make a spoon with a big cup, what do you need? I don't know. A big mouth. A big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And because we didn't have any vegetables, uh -huh. every person at 9 o'clock in the morning gets something to drink because they want to make the inside of the body clean. What would be in here? I don't know. Spices and in herbs? Dutch, in Dutch, Geneva. In English, whiskey. Ah. In Russia, vodka. I see. <laughs> so, and and in, make in Sri Lankan, Kasipu. Yeah. <laughs> Ceylon. I'm, I'm just Dutch. So, <laughs> so yeah, you have... used to run uh, yes. Ceylon yes. for a while. And this is just the bottelier, the man with the administration of the food, the hams, the cheese, and after six weeks there wasn't any water. In the movie yesterday, I yeah. watched with Michael de Reuters, yeah. the British Admiral, he called you cheese eaters. Unbelievable how badly these cheese heads crave a beating. Cheese eaters. 
Yeah. As an insult. Cheese. Well, yeah. yeah, does that mean that the British didn't have cheese? So not, they were not like... this kind of cheese. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> they had cheddar, but this is another kind of cheese. Oh, I see, I see. This is the barrel. After six weeks, the water was terrible. Yeah. So they use this beer with 2% of alcohol instead of water. Wow. So they, they, it got better then? It, this is much better than water. Yeah. Because you so have some fun after yes. you drink the water. No, the, uh, the, the beer was with two person, two person chins of alcohol, too weak. Yeah. So, okay. And something I'll investigate. Have, so old. Wow. Fritz just want to race ahead, but I want to, I want to spend some time. <laughs> Slow down, it's too interesting. <laughs> yes, ah. I have the time. But I will use something terrible, showing them terrible. Yeah, I guess the fatality, people would be dying on these ships in... From the 320 people, 10% died. On every journey? On every journey. So, we put the body into a sack of the seals, and it was opened. And so the, uh, the doctor had to control if the person was alive or dead. How did he control that? I don't know. Maybe he started this, sticking no, his body with no, that. Uh, yes, this needle from the sailmaker yeah. was still on here on the rope, on the rope. Yeah. And so he put the needles through his nose. When he is saying ah, didn't go out. Did that ever happen? <laughs> and when it never happened, <laughs> we close it, and then <laughs> one, two, three, in the name of God, to the outside of the sea. I see. Yes, but we put a bullet in between his feet. No, so he could when there is fight demons in the afterlife. When, when, no. When we put a, de a bullet there, the body was just in the sea, and they're coming a shark and him eaten. When the bullet met with a bullet, the body is going down to the bottom. A shark can go everywhere, how deep it is. But ah. what, what a shark can't do, yeah, is laying still in the water. Yeah. We couldn't, he used, didn't use his muscles to take his stomach in the right condition. So he can lay still into the waters. Yeah. And when he don't use his uh, muscles, his stomach will explode. So this one is just on the bottom of the sea at the same situation where he was on the graveyard. So the bacteria inside his body, they demolished the whole body. It's the same way when you do on a graveyard. And also the bacteria into your body demolish your body when you are on a graveyard. So this one has a piece, piece laying onto the sea. I see. But when you say bullet, do you mean cannonball? Or did you mean a bullet from no, a, a bullet like from a, a cannon, from a cannon, yes. Okay, so you mean cannonball, like yes. this? Yes. Ah, I see, I this, see. This is, yeah, this, is there... this is just, uh, uh, just a showing for children. Yeah. This is just how big it was there. This is a pump. Every ship, a ship had water into the bottom, so you did have to take it out with this, and then with the connection made of the ear, and then we take the water out. Would they always be, be pumping? Would it constantly? Uh, no, no. Uh, com uh, when you, you, you uh, com the, when you didn't do your job good, you were punished. So you have to make an hour working on the pumps. So, so this was the, the the lowest kind yes. of. Like, you don't want to be on the pumps. Yes. Everywhere here. The no. roar outside, and so we are just managing the war with this vertical stick. And that name is a colder stick, and I'll later tell you a nice story about it. Okay. So this one here, it's just moving when you move the sticks, so yeah. you can move the roar. It goes back here. Can yes. we have a walk? You little? can go make some shoulder here, yeah. but this, normally we do, don't do that. Okay. But you can see there the hole of the hunting cannon. Ah, oh, at the back there. Yes, yeah. so when you are just a ship at the back of you, you can shoot back. I see. And that's 800 meters. And this fighting gun is 400 meters. So that would be the most powerful cannon. So you no, can fire. No, 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 yes, for the, for the distance. But the, the bullet is smaller yeah. because it's 800. To fire at the ships yes. that pursue you. Yes. Hold on, let me just get a yes, show it. little... And make some, some picture outside so you can see. Yeah. Open it and show, show. yes. There we go. I see some pesky Brits. Yes. Should we fire at them? <laughs> Fritz, Fritz is signal. Fritz is signaling. <laughs> I think it worked. They stopped. Yes.
They're turning around. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Yep, I'm coming. Just after I have investigated the back here. You, you can see this ship is just completely uh, made good for the situation of war. Also here. Yeah, I mean, I would this, never think of anchor sp spill with the ropes. You can take the garco into the situation. This in the front, the anchor spill is just for the anchors. Yeah. And here is the anchor spill for just the for the cargo. And you can open it over there. And you can see the sticks are over here. So you put this ah, five this sticks in here. Yeah. And then four men on this side, four men on the other side, 32 persons, and then just walking around, walking around. Okay. And here's the rope. Here's the rope for the cargo outside and inside. Oh, wow. And so when you use the blocks like this, and not just a block with only seating, but we have a block with three lines, so you can reduce the weight from 40 kilos to 10 kilos. But then you need to use more of these blocks. Okay. So this that's what just, all of these things yes. are, you know? This is just to fill the cannons. Yes? Yeah. To fill the cannons for the bullets. But we go here, and this is just one meter high. So remember your hat. I will. Maybe the hat comes off. Yes. Oops. And the backside for your safety. And what is this? You have to put on the cannons on fast for the situation. So here had to be a cannon. I see. Because here, I mean, this would be so shaky, the cannons would be, would be yes. all over the place. And what happens with the Vasa in Stockholm? They didn't build this one over here. They didn't build the rings on the side. Yeah. So when the wind is coming, that. the ship was moving, all the cannons came to one side, another wind is coming, and so the ship is going 30 meters lower. They stayed there for 320 years, and then we took the Vasa out. And it's in a museum in Stockholm. But that was a complete ship. So we studied every square inch to build. To this build sealed, this one. On the original way, would be built ships in 1620. One moment. So this is where they this is where they built the ship. The lowest. This, this is where you built. This one was on the ship. Yeah. You, what, 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 is, what is the direction oh, to you show want, it? You want you okay. want me to do this? Yes. Okay. Okay. Your head and your hands. Okay. Like that? Yes. Okay. Oh, quite, quite comfortable. Okay. You stay there for 24 hours. No problem. I put your eggs and the tomatoes in your face. Great. Eat and you food. don't go to the toilet. Why would I need to? Fine, right here. So <laughs> this is this is just this is just you rewarding for having a trip over there. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. <laughs> and when you what do you call this one in Dutch? In a schamblok. In, in Norwegian, it's a gap, a stop. Yes. Huh. Very comfortable. <laughs> So, uh, uh, Fritz, I was saying, this is where you built the Batavia. Yes, over there, where the seat was over there. A Sumerderi. In Norwegian, that would be a Sumerd. Dutch and Norwegian is very, very similar. It's open. You have to have a look at it. It's not open? Here, here you can see there's a blacksmith. We'll make a visit. Okay. Over here. To the blacksmith. Over here. We have the students over here. So they replicated yes. the proper the way it was. This is the way a blacksmith was in 1600, and they make all those instruments. Make the fire. Hello? Make the Yeah, okay. He makes the fire. And you call it a fyrhaven. Uh, yes, it's fire. And then he makes it. Uh, so he's still making the tools the way yeah. it yes. was back then. They can make it. I only can talk. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the special thing about the Batavia is that you, you constructed it using old methods. Yes, old methods. Uh, uh, the situation, yes, for the situation. Um, and this also is open for demonstrations uh, normally, uh, right? For, uh, there's a, a working shop for children in the, the school holidays. Yeah. And then they have these glasses and the shorts. Yeah. And then they can make some... They can come in here and see. Put it over here. Uh, for the situation, then okay, and uh, then they put this uh, iron into that uh, fire, and then it's just making soft 
Cut Just get a little footage of this too. Yes, yes. We are now. Hold on. We are now. <laughs> we are now in the workshop. You can see everything here. How they make sails. How uh, the blacksmith. How they they carve. How they make the the, the chairs, the woods, everything, the mast, uh, all here on site. So this is where they um, they make the sails for the ship. This ship needs 1300 square meters of sail. 1300 square meters? Yes. How many sails exactly are there on here? Yes, here come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sails. And some you can put on another bra uh, uh, bazaar between that. This is the biggest one, 232 square meters. Would this break? That's the system sail over there. That's it. That's the 232,000 square meters. Would these, would these sails break on a journey? No, because they're lines of 90 centimeters. Put the nail between my fingers. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to stab you. You don't have power <laughs> enough. I don't want to stab you in the face. <laughs> They have uh. a special hand shoe. Ah, this one. Yes. Okay, so it's not just and, me, it's everyone. So this, when you see here, like from this angle, I can see the ship really curves like this. Yes. What was the idea behind that? Um, because we had the lowest and the, 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 the fast point at the middle at the top uh, in the ship. That's why it's, it's around on the situation. Okay. It's just the moving and, this, and, and the, the, the power of the, wa the waves outside. I see. Okay, with here. All right, down we go. Yes, back, otherwise, backside. Backside. Okay, I'll leave my hat here like you yes. did. Yes. Would it be the lower you go in the ship, the, the kind of the worse the conditions? Ship, first, uh, careful. Yep, I got it. Careful. Yeah. And here, when we were uh, sailing to India, there were 100 soldiers. And they only just have the, this possibility to go one side out and one hour outside, and then they have to and be then down they go here. to the toilet. Yeah, and then we had to go back. This stairs wasn't there. It's made for the tourist. This is your stair. Ah, oh, I see. This one. This is your chair. Yes, ah. your hands <laughs> and your feet. Okay. And that's on every ship, warships, merchant ships. This is your situation. Over there, it's the cargo, and so we're going down. Yeah, but I first will tell you something. When it was storming outside, they couldn't go to the toilet. So oh no! They had a leather bucket over here. Uh -huh. But sometimes it's going over. I can imagine. The yes, the smell was terrible. Would this be where most people would die yes. then, yes. regardless of whether? And then, how did you make it clean? When it went the, the urines and the, 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 the poopers over the ground, we take it with a, a broomstick to each other. And then we make some powder, make a fire, and then we, with a broomstick, we clean the bottom. In Dutch, we say it is brand clean, brand schoon. With fire, we cleaning the bottom because the smell was terrible. Mm. Come with me. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a feel for what it was. Yes, I'll take just, your time, yeah. take your time. Wow. Damn. Well, regardless of whether you were a captive here, or if you worked here, this must have been, I mean, uh, yeah, twice as rough as up there because you have to be crouched down. Let's see, just just from me now, walking like this, half a minute. <laughs> just half a minute walking like this, and I am, you know, ah, oh, I can just imagine living on this floor. And there wasn't any light. Oh man. The light is for so the you tourists. would have been. <laughs> yes. The light is for the tourist. <laughs> okay. Over here. Yeah. I got it here, I got it. Yeah, yeah from this side on the side. Ah, okay. And normally you have to go to use this one over here. Oh, spider web. Yes. 
There's another room over there. Yes, that's, it's not, not so important. Okay. More important is over here. Okay. Hi. Do we get some more space down here? It looks like it. Hold on, am I filming? Yes, I am. So dark in here. Ooh, this is much better. But this, this is the cargo. Oh, I like the cargo. Where they, where they had the, the pepper, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, the, 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 the tea or other things what we had at, at, at the merchant. Wow. But here we have a special place. Yep. This is the room of the powder. Wow. This is the room of the powder. This is the room for the uh, the, sword, the swords, the cannons, the pistols, yeah. everything over here. But the master of the cannons had to put the powder in little bags for the cannons. So he puts his lantern over here, he closes it, it yeah. and then he has light in here. Now, now we have electric, but normally it was it's a candlelight. Yes. Okay. And then candlelight with gunpowder. Yes, but he was glass on it. But he had shoes on his feet, but slippers. So the man in the room we're working over here has a nickname because of his slippers. Do you know what his nickname was? Uh, don't know, Slippery Joe. Now he was the hero of the sleeping room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Slippers, <laughs> the hero of the sleeping room. I hear you. <laughs> Everything here had a nickname. So this master had this the nickname. Well, people must have been joking a lot to make yes. this like tolerable for months and months, yes. right? I mean, how, how many months did it take to sail to India? Uh, nine months. Nine months. Here you can see, we take out of the inside of the ship, and here you can see how much it's damaged. Feel it with your hands there. Yep. So we had to restaurate the ship. This is because it is 40 years old. Yeah. Yes? Here you have the situation. You can see it over here. Yes, better lighting conditions. Yes? Yeah. I see, I see. So we're restorating it here. Also inside, you showed me before how you made these planks. Yes. I can show you that uh, yes. after this. I'm gonna go and film that as well. Here. Yeah. So here's all the cargo. Yeah, normally. At this moment, uh, we had to control the ship and we had some uh, to stones in here. To stabilize it? Yes, to stabilize it. And then we have the uh, uh, modern machines to take out of the water and the, uh, the, to, air, to clean the air. So this is not normally, but it's for restorating the ship. You can see it over here. I see. But here we have a demonstration of power. power. Everything you had to do with manpower. So, when you take one hand, slowly, 10 kilos on one line of this block. Yeah. Do it. With one, ha one hand, slowly. Yeah. Okay. Then back. Shin back. Then we here, we have two blocks. Put your hand over here and slowly. Okay. Heavier or no, no, low? It's much lighter. Ma it's the same weight. It's <laughs> much lighter. The technique Fritz, is lighter. Just, no, no, it's the same weight. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So one or two. Then you see a double one and a double one. So on the same time, one hand slowly. Okay. Oh, this feels like nothing. Okay. And then you see, yes, over here. Yep. One, uh, two, three. Yes. Three, and two, three, five. Three, here. So. Slowly on. Okay. That's the technique. Yeah. How we take a barrel of 40 kilos. Yeah. And make it. And make it 10 kilos. So, for the. For the yeah, beautiful, everything in here. But, like, when. I guess, you know, food would be in short supply and. Let's say you're sailing home from a mission and yeah. uh, you're running out of food and everything, but you have all this cargo. It must be very tempting to go down to the cargo. Yes, and yeah. but, but when we had the, uh, the, the mega travel, we stopped at Cape Town at Africa. And from 1620 to 1654, the 
east coast of Brazil was a Dutch colony. So yes. we sailed from Tessel, the north of this country, the Netherlands, around Scotland, we were afraid of the pirates of, of Dunkirk, to the coast of Brazil, to South Africa, to Australia, to India. And so in this trip of nine months, we could make two stops in Brazil and of the stops in, in the south of Africa. What would the pay be here on the ship? For I have the, uh, 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 a graphic in a book beside me, so I can show you. All right. But remind your head, it's one meter high. I know, there. I know. Oh, we're going back to the to the worst section of the ship. The cargo had it nice down here. Yes. Good thing we're just passing through. Oh, you got your hat back. Yes. And now we're going to the merchant man and I will tell you my story over there. All right. Over here. Come over here. Hi. All right. Here we go. This is the cabin of the Stoyer man. The Steuer man, yes. or the, the man who's steer man, yes. on Norsk. He, stand, he was here. So he just said over there, this little higher, you can't see anything in front of it. Yes? That's right. Oh, yes. Okay. You're standing here and you have... You can't see anything. That's right. And that normally this is open, so we have the commuting communication with the food. This is the stick of managing the roar. Yeah. So... Like this, or like this. I see. This is the name of colder stock. A colder stick. Is it heavy? Just one man would be moving this. Yes. A sailor first class. Oh, wow. So one man would be standing here in, in a storm, like yes. trying try to... Yes. <laughs> I can only imagine. Okay. <laughs> this ship has no clock. Yes. Because the ship is moving, and the only clocks we had in 1600 was a clock with a slinger. So, at 12 o'clock there was no shadow, and then they say... And then we put on the hourglass. And this is just half an hour. I see. After half an hour... Two glasses. A watch. It's four hours. For beginning. Half an hour. Another half an hour. Three hours. Four hours. One glass, two glass, three glass. How many? Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight glasses, so four hours. When four hours, when the, the watch is like this, you have to wait. And then changing the guard. And then we start at one glass. I see, so this will be one. One, your time by the oar would, yes. be, would be the dog watch, five hours. The dog watch, the day watch, the four middag. In the front, uh, the front ah, of the middag. Hundewacht, yeah. dagwacht, vormiddag, yeah. wacht. Yeah. After middag, middag, uh, uh, after, after dinner. dinner. After dinner, yes. At the uh, beginning of the uh, evening, the platfoot, they have, uh, uh, the feet are tired, platfoot, and then the first watch at the night. So every half an hour, you had to ring the bell. I think we are coming into the, now we're talking. You know what? I think this is where I would stay. Take the seat over here. You're <laughs> the hot merchant man. Woo, I have a chair. I have a yes. chair. Yes. And when it was, and when it was, the ship was in service of the navy. The captain of the ship was over here. 
Yeah? Yeah. Here were his officers. So Fritz, who are we gonna annihilate next? Yes. But what is the most important thing we have over here is this the commanding of the ship, but also the navigation. And we don't have a GPS system. What are the instruments we use? The uh the is it called the sextant? The No, no? it's seventeen fifty! That... Ah okay, I forgot. We're in the we're in the seventeenth century. Yeah. <laughs> we are in sixteen hundred and thirty. That's right. The Jacob staff. Your eye, the horizon, and the sun. And then we show it like this, and then we have the latitude of the situation. I see. 15 kilometers secure. When we're near we're in the, the position of Yes, we're near the Eve. We use this one. We were near the polar star. But again, the ship is, you know, and, yes. and it's, it's up and diff down. It's difficult, and so you have yeah. to. With, with practice, I guess. Yes, the practice. Would, this, would it be common to make big mistakes? Like suddenly they'd be totally lost, like where are we? With, you know. One of the 300 ships, a wrong navigation, breakdown on the rocks, on the sand, damage. The people are going to die. These ships are sailing from five, from three, from five to 10 kilometers an hour. And that's why the traveling was nine months. Would this be faster than, would, would a warship be much faster? Like a, 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 a merchant ship? One or two, the two, the one or two kilometers speeder. Um, when you have a good wind, then you have four or five kilometers speeder. Yeah, but but there's also oh, another thing here, so. Yeah. Please sit down over there. Okay. Hey, another toilet. Yes. <laughs> is it? But that is for the nobleman. <laughs> All right, and this is for me then, the, the nobleman's toilet. The nobleman sit over there. <laughs> and when this was an, an, when and the, I have a view. Yes, and when this was a war, you could make your fire around the ships. Your cannon is firing this way, uh -huh. but when you have a rifle, you can shout over this way. You, and this is open. You I can, can sit on the toilet and, and see the, shoot the pesky Brits with my yes. rifle? Okay, <laughs> you, have, you have some imagination. But normally, normally you're not only shooting with your, a rifle, you're shooting with your backside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Ah, here we get a good view too. Uh, open, oh. open, it, uh, open it. Open it, huh? Okay, let's see. Harold we'll investigate. So. Oh man, this is, a, <laughs> this is high tech. This one even like it. <laughs> <laughs> Fritz is loving the high tech. You want to have a nice demonstration? <laughs> Sit over there. Uh, yeah, okay. Can you give me some, hey, can you give me some privacy? Okay. Hey. <laughs> oh man. Five minutes. <laughs> oh. <A> pop. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. I'm just having a look outside here. It's it's incredible. That's why, I'm giving, that's why I'm asking you to sit down on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. So this would only be for the captain. For and the officers. Officers. The officers' quarters. How's this for a thumbnail? No. Can I walk out there? No, 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 no. No? No, 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 no. no. All right. Do you know Had to his, ask. <laughs> do you know why his overseas has two toilets? Oh, two toilets. Should I close it? No, no, no. Open it. Open, ah. it, open it. Do you know why the officers has two toilets? Why the officers have two toilets? Yes. Uh, I don't know. When the wind is coming from this side. You want to ask for the paying? Yeah, for the pay. One month, a captain gets hundred guilders. Hundred guilders. Would that be a substantial salary? That would. Yeah. No, no, yes, yes, yes. You, uh, at this moment we have euros. But then his story man, uh, 36. His lieutenant, 25. Um, 20 matroses, uh, 11 guilders. So uh, the, the, the sailors first class, you see 11 guilders. And then the uh, other so, uh, sailors for 10 guilders. So that would be the, the lowest the lower salary was four? Because yes. this is the salary of the situation. I see. This, I, I couldn't say well, that compared, compared, compared to people who were back on land, would this, would this, would this be a, this a is good better, job? This is better than on the sides. 
from the the, the, the Paltz, this the, the west part of Germany was destroyed by King Louis the Fourteenth of France, and from 1600 to 1800, half a million Germans worked on these ships. Oh. Half. So it was just fifty percent of the soldiers on this army ships are from Germany. Fifty percent. We didn't build our own army. We built we built our own navy. We hired people from Germany ah. because the, work, the 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 payment and the living situation here is better than in Germany at the time. At the time, and you see, this these two chairs are all made in our own uh, factory, our uh, our uh, place. So you can see the lion. Yes, the situation. You have arms because you are the lord. I'm the lord. Yes, because you have the arms. Ah, okay. Yes. I see. There is no arms on, yes. the, on the other ones. Ah, I feel special now. Yes. I want to show you something else. A bad word. When we managing the seals and the rod to take it higher and lower, lift left or right, we do this with wooden bullets around the mast. And this also has a nickname. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What do you know? <laughs> May I say a bad word? Of course. This every, is YouTube. Every man <laughs> have two. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> well, there, there are many nicknames for that. Okay. In German, they would say Kugelsach. Yeah. So, the name of the air uh, the airfield airfield in uh, Zurich in Switzerland has the name of Kloten. So this was called in Dutch Kloten. This was Kloten. Kloten, yes, yeah, Kloten, yeah. <laughs> can we make a thumbnail with that? Can we can we hold them like this for a picture? Of course. I think that will be a good. You want you want to have it on your neck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why not? I'll, I'll hold it like this. <laughs> this is your necklace. <laughs> his balls. His balls are not on his sack. All right. The, the, the nut necklace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, but you can see over here. Oops. This is this is also different. Because, interesting. Over here. I put them here. Yes. The man who is giving the punishment, he uses a rope to make the heart fast, and he used this dagger. Look around. Look goodness to the. the, the I the see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Whoa! There's more to this ship than I thought. All right. Ik ga daar even heen. All right. Over there. Up here? Okay. Fritz says, up here. Ik ben zo klaar. Oh. This is nothing. But the head merchantman or the admiral, when it is a navy ship, they take their own chickens, their pork. Oh, they had pork. No, living. Living people, living uh, beasts over here, uh -huh. and then they said to the uh, the cook, "Just I want to eat chicken," and then ah, and then he makes just the food for the officers, not for the crew. This is just, and they had some plants over here. They had everything to have a better eating situation. So they were well fed. The uh, the officer yes. for, for yes. Hold on, let me just have that's a look. That's why. I'm, that's why I. <laughs> Oh, that's why you're alive. <laughs> ah, okay. Your family was on the top of the yes! of the food chain on this ship. <laughs> so, hold on. Let me just get a. Can yeah. I stand here yes, and just take a? You can pull across it. Yes. Oopsie. Take. Be careful. I am careful. Just trying to get the best angles for you guys of everything here on the ship. This uh, it, would this be? This would be on fire, like inside there. This the flame. Or what? This is this the, the lamp, the lamps of the situation that is uh, in oil fire. Yes. Oil fire. Yes. And then you can uh, come uh, do some spionage. You can make three fires, or you can close the fire. So then you have the enemy on the wrong direction, or you put three lamps on a small ship and uh, take out your own light, and so the enemy is just following the, the little ship. And then you see the ship is just moving there, and then you can go out, come after the ship, and just shoot it. Oh, tactics! So that's the discipline. That's the discipline of the um, uh, situation. What you said downstairs is just the management of this mast, and then you see over there the wooden, yeah. the wooden bullets. So how do you manage the ship? How you manage the mast? Is that another Kugelsack? 
Yes, and cook. Uh, okay. <laughs> Close uh. it. <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh. What do you call it up there? A marsh. A marsh. Yes. And then there was an, an upper marsh, but the second part, and then in the top of that, what we called the nest of a craw. A yeah, the bird. crow's nest. Yes. yes. And, and that was in this mast for 70 meters higher. So you can see the, the marsh isn't there because you only see the, the, the sticks. But and you, then the marsh had to be on it like this over here. Because that must have been a, a, a tough place with the... Uh, with, uh... This ship, 70 meters higher, it was just 10 meters outside of the ship. But that's still pretty, that's still pretty rough. Yes. And here, the story monster, this, this wasn't there, but the story man, he was just looking outside his window and then he could look around to the front. But where the man stands, there was the seals. So he couldn't see anything in front of him. And that's why he had to communicate with the man over there. And they were using um, the foods. The, 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 the yeah. Yes? How many miles of ropes are there on this one? This 20 is 20 uh, kilometers. 20 kilometers. A heavier punishment is nailing with your own knife the sharper side on the top on the mast, and then you take your hand out of this. F f f yes, yeah. you put your hand and then uh -huh. the, 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 the sharp side on the top. And you would have to pull it out and yourself. And then you take it out. This what, what would you have to do to get that punishment? Something. Would it have to be something very... A big mouth to the officers. That's it? And then you had a punishment. Just like a... You know. Well, you have... I think you have to go. So that concludes my visit to the greatest tourist attraction that Holland or the Netherlands have to offer. Now, if you want to experience what I just did, meaning to see this ship, the Batavia, on the ocean, you have six to eight months to do so because this ship is not going to be um, in the water for much longer than until um, possibly April, May, June, they don't quite know yet. But anyway, they're gonna take the ship and put it on land. Now, you're still gonna be able to visit it, but if you want to want to um, to see it on the water, you're gonna to have to come within the next six to eight months. Because as you can see around me now, it's, it's under constant repairs and it's just not gonna survive for that long if they keep it in the water. Hence, they are gonna put it uh, up on land. Now, here is one of the guys who are restoring this ship. Yes. All the time you guys are fixing and repairing and... Yes. So, so what's going on here? I clean up the curves. So it's damaged? Damaged, yes. From, from what? The, uh, just, uh, the weather. I see. And the wood will get soft. So you're scraping away the paint? Yes. And then... And then uh, we fill it up. And then uh, paint. And then repaint again. Yeah. And that's the story of this ship. Constant repairs. So the ticket uh, revenue from your visit there, it goes to the upkeep of the ship. They have hundreds of volunteers working on it. And they also have, um, have uh, permanent staff, but most of it is volunteers, some of whom you've, you've met on this tour. So thank you so much for, for um, visiting. If you want to tour this ship with Fritz, he's only here on Tuesdays. Uh, you might just show up here on a Tuesday. Maybe you are, are lucky and he uh, and he is here and he's available or You can send them an email. Uh, I'll put the, the links in the description uh, to the email to Batavia land so you can can um, Get a tour by Fritz. I mean he was absolutely fantastic uh, off-camera as well great guy and uh, Help out this ship. I'm running out of things to say <laughs> So, from Batavia land, the Netherlands' greatest at tourist attraction, I am signing off. What is this? Uh, I don't know, is it Poseidon? Poseidon. Poseidon? It's still. Uh, I don't know, mermaid Poseidon? <laughs> a mermaid, and this is a lady? With a beard? A mate, a mate with a beard. <laughs>